Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Imperial Agent Edition. Now, this is going to be a bonus episode for those of you that want a little bit of background story on all of our companions, and we'll be starting with Kaleo, and I'll see you after all of the conversations have concluded. Hey, I'm worried your shooting's a little off, all that tech stuff weighing you down, but I'll make you a deal. You and me find a spot to practice, I'll help you out of your rut. No charge. I can spare some time. Let's see what you can teach me. Not more than you'll bother learning. Okay. As good as you are, someday someone's gonna smack you from behind while you're lining up a shot. Might even be me. Last time I felt like this was playing anarchist on Brental. My exes are gone, and I'm a free woman. That's not the first time you've talked about Brental. What did you do there? The whole anarchy, freedom, destruction thing. Politics and bombs. The naivete of youth. Of course, now I've matured. I need to figure out a plan. I could go after a big score, try something other than spy games. You could come with me. You're not bad company. And I could use a change of pace. Yeah. You and me traveling the galaxy. Doing something. Getting into trouble. Haven't worked it out past that, but I'll let you know. So, here's what I figure. Every morning you get up, you exercise, you check your gear, you do your thing to prep. You've got flowcharts tattooed on your eyelids. Me, I'm lucky when I don't crawl out of bed drooling on the floor. How is it I keep up with you? Am I just that good, or does dirty fighting be training after all? I'd never argue your skills aren't impressive. Admit it. We're a good team. You with the gimmicks, and me with the rough stuff. We're not tripping over each other anymore. Took a while, but you and me... We're a synced-up death machine. Teamwork goes a long way. Imagine if we actually practiced together. I don't need to get that good. You want to go arm shopping together, though? Let me know. Hello, Kalia. What's going on? Hey. So I've been thinking, with all the stuff I've told you about my past, we ever talk about the Brental Anarchists? You've mentioned their existence and that you worked with them. No details. Then here's a morsel for you. We were the Revolutionary Edge Brigade. So was probably me and a dozen other guys. We blew up hollow relays, robbed banks, kidnapped politicos and corporate honchos. Did a lot of damage. I suppose you were vicious in your youth. I mellowed. R.E.B. let me blow up stuff and call it progress. I wasn't really in it for the philosophy. Even so, there's times I look at who we work for now, and, well, I never thought I'd end up helping a bunch of dictators, you know? Sounds like you believe in what you did after all. Maybe. Maybe not. Thing is, I'm actually pretty content. I've got money, company's decent, even your squad's growing on me. Hypocrisy's a funny thing. See you around, Agent. I hope I'm not prying. I overheard a bit of your conversation and couldn't help but wonder, have you noticed anything unusual about Kaleo's behavior lately? Less griping, more cheer. Other than that, no. Interesting. I hadn't spotted that. However, I've noticed some encoded messages broadcast to and from the ship. Kaleo has access to the relay and I'm trying to assess all possibilities. If you think she's up to something, talk to her, not me. Why, I I'm not accusing her of anything. Merely gathering pieces of the puzzle. And should the whole picture become apparent to me, I assure you, I'll share it. Look, I'm sorry to dump this on you, but you're gonna need to live without me for a little while. It'll be quick, but I need time off to wrap up some personal things. It's a little sudden, isn't it? What's going on? Nothing big, just some private stuff. And I was worried I'd miss your departure. Kaleo, we've had our differences, but I wanted to wish you the best of luck. I'm sure the Wheezer and his revolutionary Edge Brigade will be delighted to have you back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm surprised that you would permit this, though. Letting Kaleo see her old anarchist friends must violate any number of Imperial regulations. 
Clearly I haven't been filled in. I've traced encoded messages sent from this ship to the leader of the Brental Anarchists. That's... look. It's not what you think. The Weezer got in touch, said he needed help. Didn't say why, but I figure security's cracking down on the cell again. Why didn't you say anything? The Weezer was good to me, so I thought I'd lend a hand. I didn't want to get anyone killed, I wanted to protect you. If you don't trust me, come back with me and watch my back. We'll buy him off somehow. He might actually survive that way. All you had to do was ask. Thank you. I'll get in touch with him. One call to set up the meeting. I'll leave you to your work. We're all set. The Weezer will meet us at the Hutta spaceport. Just try to make this go without a fight. I don't need to lose either of you. You smell like sweat and plasma burns. I like it. How long have we got to ourselves? You know, before duty calls, the world goes to hell, all that. I can arrange some time together if you want. Yes, I want. You've been working hard, I've been working hard. We're both keyed up. I was thinking we could slip off the ship and celebrate your birthday. Were you thinking dinner, drinks, maybe some dancing? Yeah. Something like that. This could be a very good night for you, Agent. Well, I'm sure we can find something worth celebrating. Say it with me. I'm the best thing that ever happened to you in this job. You're the best thing that ever happened. And I'm not about to forget. Good boy. But for now, I'm wiped. Let's find someone to shoot. You wanted to talk? Hey, you're looking nice. Can we do this a little later? I I've got something going on. Anything I should know about? Nope. Everything's good. Cleo, why don't we go back to my place? It's a lot warmer than... Oh. Get out of here, Devin. It's Dibbon. Out. Congratulations. You went home with the wrong girl. And now you're in a bad place. I swear I don't want trouble. I'm gonna go. You can keep my clothes. Sorry, he's just a guy. I think he's a dock worker or something. I found him the other night. We had a few drinks and I brought him here. Not a big deal, okay? If it's not a big deal, you could have been up front. Sorry, I didn't want you to know. Figured you'd get all possessive like we bonded for life. If you've got a problem, deal with it. I don't owe you anything. You may not owe me, but I thought there was something between us. You seem to be saying there's not. That's not what I said. And don't get all mopey. Look, I've got a headache and I need a shower. We can talk later or something. Remember, we're not here to make trouble. You start something, I get unhappy. Calio, of all the gifts you've sent to me, this is truly the finest. A former Imperial Intelligence agent. How marvelous. Calio said you needed help. We are willing to work with you. You believed her? Weezer. Kelio has been selling information to the Revolutionary Edge Brigade ever since she joined the Empire. What are you doing? Imperial security data, spaceport blueprints, the names of powerful people, useful things. But now she's gone beyond the call of duty. You've been selling our secrets to anarchists. It's not how he makes it sound. This wasn't what we agreed. Why bother keeping it private when your associate dies anyway? He's more useful dead than alive. His hands and eyes can get us through biometric security scans. This isn't a harvest job. Then I apologize for misreading our agreement. 
but this is too promising an opportunity to pass up. Tell me what's going on. Tell me the truth. Damn you, Agent. And damn you, Weezer, for making me do this. No mercy. Well, it appears as though the Weezer is now turning on us, and, well, Kaleo obviously did something, but we're unsure what. Obviously, selling secrets not the greatest idea, but we're gonna find out now. Ah, I'm disappointed with you, Kaleo. You were never a believer, but siding with the Empire? I didn't want to pick a side. So yeah, I sold him a few secrets. He paid better than you do, and it's not like I got you in trouble. Why did you pick a side? You promised he'd keep our deal quiet. If you lied to me, you'd be the one dead. But look, you don't need to worry. I didn't talk about the missions. I'm not stupid. He was into bombing spaceports and raiding transports, not espionage and conspiracies. I've dedicated my life to this work. Selling Imperial secrets. It can't continue. Meaning what? You should know by now that I am never going to care about the Empire. Not like you do. Not at all. I'm not asking you to change, but we're partners. We're supposed to rely on each other. If you don't care about the Empire, care about that. I do. I like working with you. I just... You know how it is. I'll try. Guess we'll see how it goes. Blasted. You know what today is? Today is the day I've worked with you longer than any of my exes. Don't tell me you missed your chance to escape. Normally at this point I'd skip out and go con someone new. But you've got me so freaking out of practice it's not worth the bother. So I'll make you a deal. I'll stick with you, you keep me comfortable. I can live with this setup. I can agree to that, Kalia. Tell you what, I'll make it easier to live with. I've given up teaching you anything, but we ever get someone new? I'll show them the ancient blood traditions of rat attack, and maybe how to down a Rodian ale without puking. Let me ask you something, Agent. You get around. You end up with lots of girls. I know it's the job, but... that ever mean much to you? It's the job, as you said. I use whatever tools I have to solve our problems. Right. Exactly. I'm like you, you know. You squeeze guys or girls for whatever they're worth and toss them. Creeps me out a little to do things different. Our relationship creeps you out? A little, yeah. Look, I like you. But I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know why you stick around. I don't want you to be surprised if I shoot this thing in the head. For what it's worth, I like you a great deal as well. That's why I stick around. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm gonna go check the cargo space. You wanna come with me? Great. But we don't talk. Got it? So look, Agent. I'm at the cantina last night and this Deveronian guy buys me a drink, wants to dance. I start thinking, you and me have been pretty good together, right? So that means I'm supposed to be all loyal to you. That is usually how it goes in this sort of relationship. I figure I don't need the temptation, but men aren't going to stop flocking to me. So something's got to change. First option is I dump you. I see all the men I want. Easy. What's the second option? Second option is I find some better excuse to get rid of these losers. Something to wave in their face. So, you're going to get me a wedding ring or what? There's no one in the world I'd rather spend my life with. Don't be a girl just because I'm sticking around. Start with the ring and make it a good one. It's gonna be good, Agent. You and me.
And there we have it, the end of Kaleo's conversations, and she is now our wife, technically, I think. So there it is, that is Kaleo's conversations, and we will be doing another two in the next episode, next bonus episode, should I say. And so I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.